couple of studies ago, we did where did sin originate? And we found that it came from Lucifer, who became Satan or the devil. Now the question is, where did man sin? Why do we have sin in man? And you can see, you're not going to see my face today. we got a lot of screen stuff. In Genesis 2, 16 and 17. And the Lord God commanded the man, that's Adam, saying, Of every tree of the garden, Eden, thou mayst freely eat. But of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Okay. This is the first commandment. The first commandment is not the Ten Commandments. This is what God told man, Adam. The very first commandment. Look, and the Lord commanded man. And it's not thou shalt not. It says, Thou shalt surely die, but that thou shalt not eat of it. Man has a problem with thou shalt not when God says thou shalt not. Going all the way back to great great grandpa Adam and gra grandma Eve. The original commandment is thou shalt not eat of Commandment number one. Okay. So where did man sin? Well, we know he ate the fruit. That's not the sin. That's not the original sin. Let's move this over. And let's take a look at Genesis 3.1. Now the serpent was more subtil than any of the beasts of the field which the God had made. God made it, not evolution. And he said unto the woman, Yea, has God said, questioning the word of God. Now remember, the serpent, Revelation 12, is the devil, is the dragon, is Satan. He's already sinned. Now the serpent itself has become an object for Satan to use. Like Satan entered into Judas. And he questions God. Why would God show up to a woman in a snake? I don't know. But they weren't like the snakes they are today. There was no fear, but yeah, has God said. So the very first thing, Satan, who has sinned already comes up to Eve and said, Yea, what did God say? Questioning God. He shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Now at this point, Adam and Eve or even Adam should have went, God, you want to help us here? But they did not call upon God. We can handle this ourselves. If Genesis 3 2 had said Adam and Eve, or Eve and Adam, or Eve or Adam called on the Lord, things would have been so much different. You say, why didn't God? Free will. God ain't going to force nothing. God knows what's going on. God allows it to go on. And we deal through it through the suffering and death of Jesus Christ, His burial, and His resurrection. That's our answer. 
All right, so ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Now the woman said to the serpent, trouble, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Yes, we may. But the serpent said every tree. God says, of every tree thou mayest freely eat, Look at the devil. Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Satan knew what God said. But the not came later. No, listen, look, 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 look. Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. God said, Every tree of the garden thou may freely eat. But the tree of the knowledge good and even thou shalt not eat. Satan left out the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But that's not the man. That's not the woman. That's Satan. Satan changed the word of God by omitting the knowledge the tree of knowledge of good and evil. We saw that pride, iniquity, came into to Lucifer. And when he shows up for man, he removes, he omits the tree of knowledge of good and evil. He's okay to say every tree. And he's okay to say, shall not eat. But he forgot the tree of knowledge and he scrambled the words around. Now the woman says, we may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden. God said, every tree of the garden thou mayst freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. Where do you see the word fruit? All right, there's the word eat. There's the word tree. She adds an S to tree. Satan says tree. God said tree. Eve says tree. And you got garden. Eve adds the word fruit. Even Satan didn't say fruit. But she added the word fruit and made trees plural. She has added to the word of God and she has changed the word of God pluralizing the word tree. There's your first sin of man. You got the F-E-V. The first Eve version of the word of God. Never mind Satan. Look at Eve. And this goes with the NIV, the RSV, the PDQs, the New King's all the versions on the market, their purpose and their foundation goes all the way back to Eve. The original sin of man is Eve adding the word fruit and adding the word adding S to tree. Not all trees have fruit that you can eat. Some have a sap. Maple trees have a sap. Some of them, you have the bark. I don't know if there's any leaf, any trees out there with leaves you can eat. 
All right, verse 3, Genesis 3, 3. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. Well, guess what fruit that what tree that is? The tree that now is good and evil. So Eve gives us a location that God did not give. God didn't say anything about where that tree was. Of every tree the garden thou may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it, for in the day thou shalt eat thereof, thou shalt surely die. Eve adds, well, that tree's in the midst of the garden. Eve added the word fruit. Eve added the S. Eve has told us extra information of where this tree is. You see, Satan said, Yea, has God said, and misquoted what God said. The woman said, around about quoting, trying to quote what God said in her own purpose. So it also says, God has said, okay, the location of the garden, okay, God didn't say that. Okay, here she goes, God has said. Now she's going to quote God. Ye shall not eat of it. God said, thou shall not eat of it. Oh yeah, Eve added the ye's and these and thou's and shall. She changed one word. Ye instead of thou. She changed the word shall to shall. Not eat of it. She's changing words of what God said. We got it right here. Genesis 3 3, Genesis 2 16 7. Genesis 2 16 through 17. That's exactly what God said. Genesis 3 3, the very first sin, the original sin of man is the woman changing the word of God as the NIV, the RSV. The New King James, the Good News, the Amplified, all of them are doing what Eve does. They add letters, they add words, they change this word to that word. Okay? Neither shall ye touch it. Uh, but, let's uh, see, God said, of every tree of the garden thou may freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. I feel sneezing. Where do you see, neither shall you touch it? <coughs> Excuse me. Where do you see it? She added a sentence to what God said. We can't even touch it. Now, least ye die. God said, In the day thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Eve says, Least. God said, Surely. Now, Got a lot of screens to look at. This is Jeff Gill's exposition on the entire Bible. All right, 
to find it here. So, least ye die, what Eve said, or least perhaps ye die. As if it was a matter of doubt. So Eve, well, it could happen. God says it will happen. Now, let me give you an illustration. There, you can put your fingers on the burden, on, on the burners of the stove. Least possibility you may get your fingers burned if they're hot. Or if you put your fingers on that burner, surely you're going to be burned because it's hot. Or, son, mow the lawn for me, and at least I may give you 20 bucks. Or, son, you mow, mow the lawn, surely when I come home from work, I'll give you 20 bucks. Lease is a possibility, perhaps. Eve is gambling. Oh, it could be black, or it could be red, it could be odd, it could be even. You know, whatever you do at a casino. God says, cherry, 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 you lose. Surely. That is the, the very first sin of man. And it's your, your modern Bibles today. It's your Westcott and Hort. It's your Alexandria. It's your Sinaiticus and your Vaticanus Codex. Is taking what God said, adding, subtracting, and footnoting. Okay? Now. We have Genesis 2.17. The ASV. Surely die. Amplify. Most certainly CEV, you will die. It's not strong. CEV, you will die before the day is over. No, she didn't. They died quite old. Good news shall die to death. What other kind of dying is there? Uh, the good news translation died the same day. No, they didn't. Go to this list here. The living Bible doomed to die. The Message Bible. We eat the tree, you're dead. No. Surely die. The NLG, I don't know. Certainly die. New American Standard. Certainly die.
NIV certainly die. All right, so we have certainly. There's some Bibles say certain. Now we have here surely and certainly. Surely is without fail. It's going to happen. Certainly, in a way which is certain, with certain, without doubt, doubt. Surely, you see, certainly, you know, it, it, surely. Yeah, but certainly adds a few more little possibilities with, you know. Okay. Sure and certain are frequently used interchangeably. Sure, however, is the more subjective term. It's going to happen. Whereas certain may imply belief based on experience or evidence. So the word sure is sure. The word certain, well, there's a possibility. Okay. Now, uh, where we were. something else. Notice, read Genesis 2 and Genesis 3. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou may freely eat. But the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day thou, in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. But then die that day. But the modern Bible say, boom, she died that day. No, she died spiritually. But her flesh remained alive. Okay. What word is subtracted? Freely. Eve removed the word freely. God didn't charge. You know what your salvation is? It's free. You know, you know what those fruits and vegetables and Nuts and berries, they were free. That's a big difference today because when you go into the grocery store, those fruits and vegetables and nuts cost you money now. In the garden, they were free. At any time in the garden, every tree but the tree of knowledge, good and evil, was theirs to eat. Free. Now, he removed the word freely. So when we come over here, we type the word freely, of all the places it shows up, we go all the way down to Revelation 22, the last book of the Bible. Look what it says. And the Spirit of the say, Come! Let him that hears say, Come! And let him that's a thirst, Come! And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. God made sure before he closed the canon of the King James Bible, he made sure of one thing. He put the word freely back that he removed. So, going back going back to Genesis 
chapter 3. Okay, let's look here. The woman said to the church, now this is the first sin. And we're going to say, here it is. And the Lord God commanded the man, the first commandment to man, saying, this is what God said, of every tree of the garden thou hast made freely eat, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. The woman, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. There's no fruit, what God said. Of the tree, God said tree. Tree. But the fruit of the tree in the midst of the garden, God said, but of the tree of knowledge, good and evil. Eve never named the tree of good and evil. She told you where it was. Of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. God said, ye shall not eat of it. God said, thou shalt not eat of it. Neither shall ye touch it. Nowhere does God say that. Least ye die. God said, thereof thou shalt surely die. Eve added, Eve subtracted, Eve even added extra information. Bible correction, revising the Word of God, Genesis 2 16 and 17, is the original sin of man. And that's why we're in the mess we are in. Yes, they ate the fruit. But before, look, look, look. Genesis 3, 2, 3, 2, and 3, 3 is where we looked at. She changed the word of God. The serpent said, ye shall not surely die. That's wrong, God said. Notice how Eve said, least ye die. The serpent said, Thou shalt not surely die. Eve said, least. God, uh, Satan said, not surely. God said, surely. Satan uses the same word that God did that Eve didn't, but Satan put the word not in front of it. Because Eve said, well, possibility. And Satan says, okay, I'll take that possibility. And if you put your numbers on black, Let's go for it. And how many people run off to the casino taking their money and putting on black or putting on red or pulling that handle down and they, let's go for it. And they lose. And, he, and the devil speaks and says, For God does know the day ye eat thereof, in your eyes shall be open, ye shall be as gods. True. Knowing good and evil. True. That's what the Eve didn't say the tree of knowledge good and evil. Satan said, knowing good and evil. Eve never said good and evil. Satan did. Without saying tree. Look at Satan and look at Eve adding and subtracting and adding to the word of God. And we're not looking at Satan. We're looking at man. Then when the woman saw the tree was good for food. Eve, what happened to the fruit? But the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. What happened to the fruit? Then she took the fruit there, thereof and did eat. The sin of 
eating the fruit, whatever it was, came after changing the word of God. Adding, subtracting, and footnoting. That's what your modern Bible versions do. That's why you stay with the King James. 